Good evening, Alfonso. Hello, <coughs> how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How's everything, mister? Sorry, teacher? How's everything? How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Ah. <laughs> um, it's also, teacher, very tired. Oh, really? You had a heavy day? Yes, completed and clean the machine okay yeah you told me yesterday you were going to be working yes. on the machine teacher oh i can tell this is very uh, difficult for for como se dice el tipo de for the kind of Repeat for please. the kind of for the for the kind yes i will text it to you oh. yes for 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 for, for chemic oh. okay for the the kind oh uh, okay we don't say for the chemic we say due to the chemical chemical oh yes chemical due to the chemical oh yeah i can imagine even cleaning the hands is difficult yes <clears throat> uh, the chemical is uh Arranca grasa? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Yes, and yes. that's uh, that's an abrasive. It's an abrasivo. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Al final arden los dedos. Yeah. A veces toca. Yes. Yeah, the same. The same happens when you have to clean your hands with uh, with thinner. That happens with thinner. Thinner. Thinner, thinner. We call it in Spanish, we say thinner, but it's thinner. Ah, it's similar. Yeah. The same happens with thinner. When I when I use thinner to clean my hands, it burns. Kema. Mm, yeah. Um teacher. Yes. Um, today is very hot. Yes, it is. The weather has been hot. Horrible está esto. Horrible. Yeah, today has been. Ya estoy hasta sudando. A hot day. Today has been a hot day. Oh. Yes. Today terrible, has been... actually. Very, very terrible. Terrible, yes. Uh, hoy... um... And what about tomorrow? What are the plans for tomorrow, mister? What are your plans for tomorrow? Ah, yeah. well, for a moment, nothing. I don't. When do you go get your son? No. Cuando va por su hijo? Mañana no. Not tomorrow? No. Uh, others, others week, weekend. <clears throat> Otra semana. Oh. Okay, next weekend. Next weekend, yes. So you you have then one weekend every other weekend. No. Eh, ¿Cómo digo tienen una salida ellos mañana? Oh, they got a trip. Yes. Oh. Van, van de paseo, entonces. They go me lo comen. A... Oh, really? Where are they going? To the beach? To a park? No, uh, the beach, the playa, la playa. The beach. Oh, beach. really? That's cool. Yeah, it's always uh, good to go out. How old is your kid? Oh. Uh, seven years old. 
is seven years old. He enjoys the beach. Yes. <laughs> he enjoys going he's, to the beach, I imagine. He's in family. Grandfather, oh. grandmother, yours. Um, his. His. All his, his cousins, primos. Mm, no. Uh, his brothers. Okay, that's cool. This baby, the of the. Quiero ver. No sé, creo que ya tiene un año. <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. It's always good for kids to go out. Es bueno para los chicos salir. Así que, no sé, mañana veo qué hago. <laughs> you got a day off your son. That's weird. Se siente raro. Yes. O others, others weeks? Week? Next weeks? week? Next weeks, sorry. Uh, en la semana, is weeks? During the week. During, during the week. During the week. Uh, starting, stars, uh, the, the fiestas. Oh, really? Yes. Where do you live? Um, uh, ah. I live in San Martin. Where do you live? No, in Nuevo Cucatlán. Oh, really? That's yes. nice. So you're going to go out and enjoy a little bit. Va a disfrutar un poco. Mm. <laughs> well, you so, got to so. work. You got to work. Yes. Hay que trabajar, so not too many options. Aunque al menos la serenata van a estar chido. Oh, serenades. Yeah. Serenade. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool in a way. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Alfonso. It's been nice talking to you. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Vladimir, good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. Did you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm driving right now. Okay, never mind. There's Sonia here who wants to talk to me. Okay, thanks. Hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. You really want to talk to me, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hello, Sonia. How was your day? I had a good day. Okay. Uh, I did routine things. Okay. Something um, special? Anything special that happened today? Um, no. Not really. Not really. Okay. Um, well, tell me, what about traffic? How was traffic in the morning? Um, no, traffic in on my way. Oh, really? No. That's cool. Yeah, I, I went downtown today and also I didn't have problems with traffic. It was very, very calm. The same, no problems with traffic at all mm, no not what, really. what time did you get home today i get home i, I, get home. I got home at home at 7 40 7 40 oh my uh, god 7 .40. what time did you finish working um i finish at 6 30 a.m. but a.m. p.m. I'm sorry. Uh, but como digo, vi a mi hermano antes de llegar a casa. Oh, really? You saw your brother? Uh -huh. So. So you saw my brother? Yes. Saw my brother. Okay. That's cool. Yes. Or you can say it in another way. You can say. I met with my brother. I met with my brother. With my brother, okay. That's nice, that's nice. Let's see, I'm gonna go visit my sister Sunday. Uh, I have to visit. You know, I'm not that good visiting relatives. Yo no soy bueno para visitar relatives. <laughs> but I had to. Debo. So tell um, me, what are the plans for tomorrow? What? What? No, I don't understand. What are your plans for tomorrow? Ah. 
Uh, I go to the supermarket. I will go to the supermarket. I will go to the supermarket and I'm cleaning my house. Okay. Uh, I... Como es, voy a ayudarle a mi hermano a pintar su casa. I am going to help my brother. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going... going to help my brother to paint his house. To paint his house. Okay. Now, Sonia, that expression, I am going to, you can pronounce it, I'm gonna. I'm gonna help my brother. Así lo pronuncio. Yes. Going to. It's pronounced gonna. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna help my brother paint his house. I'm gonna help my help my brother paint his house. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So you like painting? Yes. Yes. I like. That's nice. That's nice. It's going to be fun. Será divertido, I imagine. Yes. Um, ¿Cómo es? ¿Va a estar mi cuñada y mi sobrino? My sister-in-law. My sister-in-law and my... ¿eh? Nephews or niece? Nef sobrino. Ok. My sister-in-law and their kids. ¿Just one? ¿Solo uno? Yes. yes. Ok. And my nephew. My nephew. Oh, really? They're going to be there. Uh, one. Um, and you're gonna take your kids? No, my kids no. Okay, just you. ¿Cómo es? Ellos van a estar con su papá? Okay, they are going to be. They're, they're going to be. They, they are, and they, the same, and the same, Sonia. They're gonna be. They're gonna be. With their with, dad. With their father. With their father, yes. Okay. So yeah. you got uh, a day off. In a yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but the house never feels the same. La casa no se siente igual. No. Pero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, you need to relax once in a while. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Sonia. It was nice talking to you. Okay, thank you. Mr. Arana, hello. Mr. Arana is on vacation of his relatives until June. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Walter. When is your family coming back? June or July? Um, June. June. In vacation? Um, uh, my son is June and August. Okay, yes. And tell me, which level is your son studying? Which course? Is um, course Elementary. Elementary. Yes. Elementary school. Okay, but which course? First, second. Third? Forty. Fourth. 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 Okay. Fourth. Let's see. So, four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Yes, that's elementary. Well, elementary is from, from yeah. first to fifth. Yes. No, from third to fifth is, is elementary. Elementary so, is fine. From six to... High school. Six, no, six, seven, and eight is junior high. Six, seven, and eight is junior high. Ah, okay. And nine, ten, and eleven is high school. Nueve, diez, y once is high school. This day? Today. Is um, on the afternoon? Uh, I had a meeting with the teacher of our first shield. Okay. And it was all English. 
Oh my gosh. And good. How did you do? ¿Cómo le fue? Nothing for me, my son. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Could you understand everything? ¿Entendió usted? Yes. That's excellent. <laughs> well, yeah, that's normal. I mean, me costaba expresarme, pero yeah, but if you were, I mean, if you were able to understand, that's excellent. Si fue capaz de entender, that's excellent. Yes. Uh, so you had a video conference. Yes. Nice. Which state is he in? ¿En qué estado está? In Los Angeles, California. In LA, the state is California. Yes, the yes. city is Los Angeles. Okay. Okay. He's North Hollywood. North Hollywood. 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 Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, hot. It's a little bit hot. Esta zona es un poquito cálido. It's warm. Yes, it's in. ¿Cómo le digo? Comienza in lo cálido. Start. Yes. Uh, uh, finish Mars. A finales de marzo. Yes, it starts getting warm. Comienza a ponerse cálido until. Oh, well, it depends because California is weird. Some areas of California are weird because they also get uh, the winds of Santa Ana. Ellos agarran los vientos de Santa Ana like in December, <laughs> November, December, and that's wind. Y esos son vientos. No, no rain. No rain, but just wind. It's windy. Sí, yes. November, December is windy over there. Hace mucho bien. Well, interesting. Nice talking to you, Walter. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Ruiz, hello. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay, look, I'm always interested in, in finding out how was your day, Walter? A snack day. A what? Relax day. Relax day? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. Fridays, you tell me that are like half. No, no. Because there was no email and internet in the company all morning. Oh, my God. Okay. But you are going to have a backload of work. Va a tener un retraso de trabajo, then. No. No, really? No, I finish all on the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay, that's cool. So you are calm. Tomorrow, do you go to work? Yeah. Just half the day or full, the whole day? Mm, for, uh, for hours only. For, for hours. Oh, well, that's, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's it's nice. No, that's but... nice. Yeah, excellent. Great. That's excellent, actually. Excellent. So, what are the plans for tomorrow afternoon? Tell me. Mm, I act with my mom, uh, visit to my nephew. Oh, really? So, you are yeah. the designated driver. Va a ser el conductor designado. Designated driver. Yeah, yeah but my brother is not drunk. Okay. Like, now, never. They don't I, drink. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But, okay. But, yeah. Yeah. No, it's just it was just a joke actually. Realmente era una broma because the designated designated designado. driver, el designated driver es la persona encargada de conducir. Yeah. When the other people are going to party. Los demás van a no, no, it's not a party, it's only a visit for my, oh, that's my cool. brother. That's cool, that's it, nice. It's, uh, it's always in Armenia. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. In my case, I was telling you the joke because in my case, I am the designated driver. All the time. <laughs> yo soy el conductor designado. All the drink. time. You don't drink? Just a little bit. And and I mean what? Two three beers, tops, mm -hmm. or one or two shots of 
whiskey or rum, but just one or two, and that's it. And if I am driving, mm -hmm. just one. Well, good. So when I'm driving, I hardly ever driving, yeah. driving drunk, drunk. It's not good. It's never good. It's never good. But hardly ever. Yeah. But only one time I remember that I stay very, very drunk and a driver, but it's very near of my house. Okay. Only, only well, two corners. Well, you don't know, you don't know adrenaline until you haven't driven, you haven't ridden a motorcycle while under the uh, influence. Uh, I drive a motorcycle and car. Yes, but riding a motorcycle under the influence Eh, cuando quiero una motocicleta tomado, that's dangerous. Mm. Very dangerous. Believe me, I was young. I had a really driving like this. I remember about three years, maybe. Uh, you, for you. You gotta be careful. Yeah, but I actually I only dream the house in house. That's better. That's yeah. better. Because oh, I got a, I got a saying for you. Le tengo un dicho relacionado con eso. Better safe than sorry. Better safe. Oops, I'm no, sorry. No, no, then, then. Better safe than sorry. Mejor seguro que lo siento. Eh, it means something like, uh, es mejor estar seguro que lamentarlo luego. Okay? Mm. That's what it means, but it's a, it's a saying, it's a dicho. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. And if you are driving for people, oh, you gotta be more careful, so. Be careful tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, I prefer, okay, yes. teacher. No, you were telling I me. I prefer being on house. Uh, only that. two bucks. Only two what? Two bucks. Two boxes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. two packs. In English, you don't say two boxes. In 24, yes. 24 beers. In English, you don't say two boxes. In English, no decimos two boxes. We say two, two packs. packs. Yes, two packs. But the pack had 24. Yep. Interesting. Two packs. That, uh, I don't know. That's a lot. Yeah. It's a drone. <laughs> two packs is a lot. You got to be careful, man. Okay, the liver is not eternal. El hígado no es eterno. Be careful. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Susana, hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm I good. am just fine. Thank you. Tell me, Susana, what are your plans for tomorrow? I can hear you. What? I can hear you. What are your plans for tomorrow, Susana? Ah, oh, okay. I I have a party in the night. At night, you got a party. Yes. Cool. What type of party? Tell me. ¿Qué tipo de fiesta? Tell me. Tell me. Um, es a despedida. A farewell. Sí, se se va alguien. No sé. Okay, that's a farewell party. A farewell party. Okay, I have a farewell party tomorrow in the night. At night. At night, okay. Or you can say tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, okay. Oh. And I, I make to cook. I have to cook. I have to cook. Oh, really? What you gonna prepare? Tell me. Sopa de gallina. No comments. Thank you, Susana. No comments, no comments at all. Okay, I don't, okay. I don't like soup, <laughs> chicken soup, and at night, oh, no, man, oh. Yes, it, it's real, but la que se va eso quiere. <laughs> okay, the person who's leaving, repeat with me, the person who is leaving. The person who is leaving. Wants that. Wants that. Okay, okay. that's nice, that's nice. So tell me, yes. you're going to cook for how many people? Um, 20 people. 
20 people. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. people. That's yes. Nice. That's nice. And when is yes. that person leaving? What? When is your when is that person leaving? Uh, in Seattle. No, when is cuando? Cuando se va? Yes, exactly. Uh, she goes uh, the Sunday. Okay. Look. She is leaving. She's on leaving Sunday. Sunday. Okay. She's leaving on Sunday. She's leaving on Sunday. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So you gotta be busy. Yes, yes, I have to. Tomorrow I go to the market. Okay. But very early. As as far as I can see, uh, como puedo ver, you enjoy that. Yes, I like it. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Yes. That's nice, actually. Well, thank you, Susana. Interesting. Edwin, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> how are you, mister? Oh, tired. Tired. And tell me, Edwin, what are the plans for tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Working. Oh, my gosh. You got to work? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, you have to say it like this. I got to work. I got to work. Now, listen to me, Edwin. Got to, you pronounce it? Gotta. 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 Yeah, I gotta work. I gotta work. Like that. Perfect. I gotta work. I gotta work. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna work tomorrow. And what about the university? And uh, online. 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 So you're gonna be in the office yeah. and in the class. In, yeah. Both things. Ouch. <laughs> and, ¿cómo se dice? Me envían las guías. Okay, they send me the guides. They send me the guide. The guides. Guides. The guides. The guides. Oh, really? So, what about Sunday? Well, what are the plans for Sunday? Mm. Work again? Yeah. No, Sunday, day off. Oh, Sunday is your day off. Okay, yeah. what are your plans for Sunday? Mm. Yeah, I, my plan, my plan, plan, sería, ¿verdad? my plan, my plan is salir a comer con, con unos amigos. Oh, that's cool. Where are you going to go eat? ¿Para dónde vas? Uh, pues, primero queremos ir a, a dispararnos a paintball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing a picture of you, a profile picture. Recuerdo haber visto la yeah. <laughs> fotografía de perfil. So, you like paintball? Yes. Uf. I like it very much. That thing hurts. Eso duele. Mm. Sería más o menos around sería, ¿verdad? So, so. Uh, so, so. Well, actually, you know, in these courses, in estos cursos, in one of the units, I don't know if it's in basic three or pre-intermediate, no recuerdo si en el básico tres o pre-intermediate, there's one class that you're going to talk about paintball. Hay una yeah. clase que van a hablar de paintball, yes. <laughs> it's going to be interesting yeah. for you. Uh, this is the Santa. Well, you know, I used to like shooting. I used to like hunting, uh, hunting rabbits. Cuando yo era joven me gustaba cazar. I used to like hunting rabbits. Yes, all, ver, all versus all. Yeah, but <laughs> paintball, it hurts too much. A mí me gusta ir a cazar, tirarle a los conejos, pero el paintball hurts, duele. That's a sign oh. of rabbit. Qué culpa. <laughs> oh, they are delicious. Son deliciosos. Yeah. Pero verlos a la cara, yo me encariño. Habían traído una gallina a la casa para hacerla. Me lo iban a hacer en sopa. Hasta nombre le puse. Oh my gosh. You like them <laughs> as pets. Uh, uh. 
You like them as pets. Yeah. Well, you know, in my, well, once we had a raccoon. Nosotros una vez tuvimos un raccoon. Raccoon. Uh, how do you say raccoon? Uh, those little animals, like with uh, brown eyes, uh, mapache. Mapache. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had a raccoon as pet. Teníamos un raccoon como mascota. Really? Man, yes, and it was so delicious. Y estuvo tan delicioso. <laughs> no, yeah, it was. No no we, had it, we had it as a pet, like for one year. Lo tuvimos de mascota como un año. One year after that, it was lunch. Un año después fue lunch. <laughs> yeah, delicious, delicious. Well, thank you, Edwin. Nice thank talking you. to you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Evelyn, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Evelyn? Very fine, and you? I'm just great. What are the plans for the weekend? Tell me. Well, on the Saturday. On Saturday? On Saturday in the morning. Yes. I am um, to uh, attend class okay. uh, for Microsoft. Oh, really? Then in the afternoon, um, clean the house. Um, I got the part with my 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 daughters in the. Um, on Sunday, uh, anywhere. <laughs> Sunday resting. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. So you're go you're studying for becoming a Microsoft specialist. Um. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, mejorando conocimientos. Improving knowledge. Improving. Improving, improving. Oops, I'm sorry. This is double P. Improving uh, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Oops, I'm sorry, man. I hate it. I'm sorry. Like this, knowledge, improving knowledge. Knowledge. Oh, that's cool. Yes. That's cool, that's cool. So you're going to be very good at Excel, at Access. In this moment, it's the Excel. Excel, yeah, Excel is good. You can do a lot of stuff with Excel. And when you have a good command of Excel, get into Access, cool. You can no, do a lot okay. of stuff. You can do a lot of stuff when you Excel and Access. Yes, I need, um, I work with um, base de datos. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Um, with a database, database. Database. Yes, database. So you are just like reviewing. Que más repaso de suyo. Yes, yes, ya. Eh, ya, la, ya la uso la herramienta. Eh, okay, you use the tool. I already, say with me, I already. I already. I already use the tool. Use the tool. I already use the tool. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Yes. Well, Thank you, Evelyn. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Arvin. Hello, Arvin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? Um, tired. Tired. Um, I am good. Yes. Okay. You had a difficult day today? Um, yes. Um, on my way home. Yes. You are on your way home? Todavía va de camino? Yes. Okay, never mind. We will talk when you get home. 
Hablamos cuando llegue a casa. Just listen. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Elizabeth, good evening. How are you? Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? Fine. Okay, tell me, what are your plans for the weekend? Just working. You gonna work the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Uh, Are you no. going to work Saturday and Sunday? Uh, no. Okay. No. What are you going to do this weekend? This, okay. Uh, I am make cooking. Okay, you are gonna cook. That's nice. I visit grandmother. Okay, that's excellent. Play soccer. Oh, you're gonna play soccer. That's nice. So you like practicing sports? Yes, practice. Oh, excellent. When do you play soccer? Saturdays or Sundays? Sundays. Sundays, in the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Oh, that's cool. How long have you been playing soccer? Durante cuánto tiempo? How long have you been playing soccer? One hour. No, how long? Desde cuándo? One year, two years? Um, desde que tengo 18 años. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's like this. Since... Since I was since I was eighteen. Since I was eighteen. Since I was eighteen. Since since. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Well, that's interesting. Good luck. Buena suerte. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, by the way, por cierto. Uh, uh, this was a oral evaluation I just did. I have to hacer una evaluación oral. It's just that I needed to see how good were you at speaking. Tenía que evaluar a estas alturas cómo vamos con el speaking. I'm just missing some people, but I have Oscar here. Tenía Oscar acá y no sé qué me lo pasó. He disconnected. Okay, pero no me preguntó nada. A mí. Okay, but it's time. Thank you, Gracias. Mauricio. Welcome. Hello, Mauricio. How are you? Fine, teacher. I was going to save you for the la for the end of the class. Lo iba a guardar para el final de la clase as Arvin and el uh, and Ivania, al igual que Arvin, okay. Ivania, okay. and Vladimir. Don't worry. I got the four Don't of you worry, for the teacher. end of the class. So relax, relax. Take crazy, man. Take crazy. Don't worry, teacher. Don't worry. Yes, Vladimir. You home, teacher? Hello. You home already? Yes, Vladimir, are you home? Vladimir was driving. I think he's still driving. Don't worry. No, Vlad not yet. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass through by women jail. Oh, okay. Yeah. To, yeah. Uh, You're going to disconnect down. from the class. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be waiting for you. Lo esperamos. Yeah, he's going to lose sign out. Okay, guys, let's see. Today is a review. We are going to make a review. Let me see. Uh, before we continue, the ones that I just evaluate, antes que continuemos los que ya les evalué, eh, I can tell you that it was very interesting evaluating you. Estuvo interesante. I can tell that, well, if you realize you are able to have a short conversation, si se dieron cuenta, somos capaces de tener una pequeña conversación. A conversation one on one, talking about uh, normal subjects, everyday speaking, hablando de cosas normales, cosas del día a día. And it's excellent. We need to still work a little bit on vocabulary, but that's normal. Necesitan trabajar todavía con vocabulario, pero eso es normal. Okay, so don't worry about it. No nos preocupemos por eso. And I feel a lot of confidence. Siento confianza en ustedes, when you are expressing yourself, 
that's excellent. And it also helps me, también esto me sirve a mí, to realize in which aspects I'm going to be like working more, en qué aspecto voy a trabajar más, and with, uh, with whom of you y con quienes de ustedes I need to work a little bit more. Y con quienes tengo que avanzar un poquito más. Who I'm going to push a little bit more in order to make you speak more fluently, ¿ok? Para lograr que me hablen un poquito más fluido, ¿ok? But it's going to be very, very, very interesting. Now, just let me check on something, please, that I need. I could swear that I saw Mr. Oscar here, but I'm going to check on the system. Okay, let's see. I got uh, <laughs> Yes, Oscar was here. Perfect. I'm sorry, guys. It's because I need to take the attendance. Let's see. Let me just check. My right, guys, today is Friday. Uh, March the 12th, Friday, March the 12th, okie dokie, and let's see, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera, present teacher, Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo, present, oopsie, I don't know if it was my internet or yours guys, no, I think I'm, I am having problems with the connection. Can you hear me properly? ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes. Okay, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yeah, the connection has been terrible today. Okay, let's see who else. Uh, Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Karen Lisset García Rodríguez. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, today, as I told you, we are going to have a small uh, review. We are going to make a review, but we are going to make it practical. We are going to practice. Okay. Now, let me check on something. My God. I need you to open your manuals in page number 27. If you got your manual, your manual in page number 27, let me share with you. Okay, it's right here. Okay, okay, let's see. I think you cannot see it yet. Creo que todavía no lo pueden ver, o sí. Okay. It says, the activity says, ongoing activities at the workplace. You have to write about something you have or need to do these days. I need you to focus on Sunday, on Sunday, just on Sunday. What are you going to do? Okay, 
you are going to tell me about something that you have to do, but you are going to tell me about the when, the what time, and where. It's like this, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you an example. I just sent this image to you. Yeah, let me the imagine. And I'll give you an example. The example goes like this, okay? Like, oh, let me just check again. It's like this. Remember, it has to answer the question when, what time, and where. Okay? Cuando, a qué hora, si donde. Okay, I need, mm, well, I need to go visit my sister on Sunday. That's when. In the afternoon, that's what time. In Ciudad Crediza. Listen again. I need to go visit my sister on Sunday in the afternoon at Ciudad Crediza. That's one. But in your case, I need you to give me two. Two of those situations, okay? Two activities that you have to or need to do on Sunday. But that, that activity needs to answer the questions. When, what time, and where? How are we going to do it? We are going to do it like this. Let's see. Uh, Sonia, open up your microphone, please. Okay. Tell me just the, just the situation, just the action. Solamente la situación, dígame. Something that you have to do on Sunday. Pintar, solo la situación. I have to paint. Have to okay. paint. Okay, now, uh, when? On Sunday, on Sunday. What time? In the afternoon. Where? Uh, the brother's house. At my brother's house. At my, bro my brother's house. Okay, now, I need you to stay, keep it open, Sonia. Quiero que prestemos atención a algo. Eh, perdón que les explique en español. Si usted se fija al responder esas preguntas como una oración completa, usted creó una oración larga. Usted me dice, oh, I have to go paint eh, on Sunday in the afternoon at my brother's house. That's a long sentence, right? Okay, what are you going to do? You are going to ask your classmates. Le van a preguntar a los compañeros, así como le pregunté a Sonia. What are you going to do? When, what time, where? And you are going to take note of two activities. You are going to have five minutes to get that information. You are going to be working in pairs. Me van a trabajar en parejas. Uh -huh. Okay? Let me see. Okay, let me create. Thank you, Vladimir. Now, just let me check. Present teacher. Something. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That I need to move someone. Necesito mover. Okay, this person. I need to interchange with uh, this other person. Okay, guys, jump in, please. Hello, Arvin, you home already? Ya llegó a casa, Arvin? Yes, teacher. Okay, then I'm going to switch you to another group. Entonces lo voy a enviar a otro grupo. The situation is that I have somebody, tenía alguien que también iba de camino. Okay? Okay, yes, okay. So let me see, I'm going to move you to another room, okay? There you go.
to the church. I need to go to church. Ay, lo puse al revés. I need to go to the church. On Sunday. No, it's a, no, it's to go to the, to the church. To the church. church, to church. Church. Okay, the situation is this, Alfonso. La diferencia es esta, Alfonso. Si usted dice to church, is in general, es en general. Si usted dice to the church, the other person knows. Si usted dice to the church, la otra persona sabe a qué iglesia va usted. Ah, oh, okay. 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 I need to go to the church. On I need Sunday. to go. I need to go. I need to go. The church on Sunday at 7 30 a.m. at Church El Rosario. To Church El Rosario. Home office. Um, home office. office. Office, office, home. Or home office. Yeah, but... Home office. Okay. No, in this case, he has to do home office he has to do home office on saturday in the morning he has to do sí, porque ya estamos hablando cuando decimos home office ya estamos hablando de trabajar ¿verdad? yes exactly that's right edwin office he has pero mi mi oración si es si es para mi teacher sería I have to, to I have to, to do home office. I have to do. Lo que pasa es que eh, como oh. esta es una de las expresiones nuevas que han salido hoy debido a la the special situation we are living. So yeah, you say I have to do home office. Eso quiere decir tengo que trabajar desde casa. Y está siendo específico que es la nueva situación, the new reality we are living in, la nueva realidad que estamos viviendo, ¿ok? Yes. Teacher, um, question is pregunta, verdad? Yep. Este, una pregunta. Vale, Tell me. Acá, por ejemplo, acá he puesto a CLT ateos. Yes. Eh, aquí para poner, agregarle, porque aquí, uh, check-in, 5 p.m., ¿cómo tendría que on, at, o in? At 5 p.m. Check-in at, at 5 p.m. The situation is this, Mr. Check-in is a verb. Check-in es un verbo, es el verbo registrarse. Ajá. Aquí ya iría con coma todo. He has to work on Saturday at CLT Ateo. Check-in at... Oh, I... ok, ok. Si me puso la coma, checking in... Checking, check in. ing. Agrégamele la ing. Okay. Checking in, in 5 p.m. Le falta el in at 5 p.m. At 5 uh, He has to work on Saturday in, at CLT at Teos, checking in at 5 p.m. Okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Perfect. Okay, remember, it's two per person. Son dos actividades por persona. Yes. La de Sunday. Ok, perfecto. Yeah, este Luis. Son Sunday. Vamos en Sunday. Uh, no, pero a usted todavía me falta la hora de. Yes. Next. Eh, I have planning. Ah, no. I have. I have go to the visit the clients. Ok, Mauricio, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Dele. Acuérdese que estamos con have to. I, I have, have to, to go. I have to go. I have to go visit clients. Perfect. Excellent. I have, I to, have go to go visit, visit clients. To visit. 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 Clients. Ok. Listen, Mauricio. Escúchame. La cuestión es esta. Como usted me está poniendo varios verbos seguidos, entonces estos verbos tienen que ir con la partícula que me indica que están en infinitivo. Esa partícula es el tú. I have, I have to go to, to visit. Have to go. Ah, to, to. I have to go to visit clients. Visit clients. Okay. 
That's because the expression, the particle to, esa particular to, quiere decir a. Ah, ok. Ok. Gracias. You're Yo welcome. tengo una pregunta. Oh, oh, I'm gone by. Tell no. me, tell me, tell me. No, lo primero que me dijo es que va a ir a andar en bicicleta. Entonces lo correcto, si yo lo digo, es he has to ride a bike. Ah, ah he has to... Go to. Okay. No. Have to go. Okay, he has to go. No, he has to ride his bike. He has, he has to. Es una obligación. No. Recuérdese no. que el have to es cuando cumplimos una obligación impuesta. He needs to go riding. Entonces he sería he needs. I need. I need to go riding. Yes. I need no, to go riding. Él quiere. Ajá. Ok. <laughs> él quiere. Él quiere. Well. Necesitar, necesitar. No. Eh, eh, por salud sí lo necesito. Yes. No puede ser. You, you Pero don't, necesitaría el aire. You don't, you, don't know, claro. you don't know the type of belly. No le conoce la pancita. Sí. Bueno. Son 240 libras. Say what? Yes. 240. Exacto, wow. señor. Ah, pues sí la necesita, vaya. Entonces, Exacto. Sí. Oh, you are so... Mm. Mm. Ahí hubiera empezado. Qué malvada. <risa> Disculpe. Sí. Sí, so... No, no, ya no, 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 no hay oh. problema. <risa> sí, so mean, mean. Le diría lo siento, pero no, no lo siento. Yeah. Okay. No Now, worry. Listen, listen, Sonia. Uh -huh. When we have the verb go, si tenemos el verbo go y le pongo otro verbo a la par, este es un verbo especial. Cuando uh -huh. yo tengo el verbo go y le pongo otro verbo a la par, ese verbo va en ing, aunque se entienda en infinitivo. Entonces he sería he has. Go, he needs. He He needs to go. Espérame, 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 se le cortó. Espérame. He needs to go riding. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Hurry up. Two minutes. Hurry up. Or you can say it like this. Este es un verbo que no se lo he dicho, pero lo puedo decir así. He needs to go biking. Biking. Yes. Or bicycling. Bicycling. To go ride, riding or bicycling. to biking. Bicycling. Bicycling. I'm sorry. Biking is uh, if he goes in a motorcycle. Bicycling. Entonces puede ser to go riding or to, no, to ride. biking. Lo que pasa es que ride es montar. And that applies to bicycles, motorcycles, and horses. Y aplica bicicletas motocicletas y horses, caballos. Ah, pero como le iba a poner a bike, o sea, iba a poner, he needs to go riding a bike. Yes. Entonces, or, ya no or you can make it shorter and more specific, o lo puede hacer más corto y más específico, he needs to go biking, or bicycling, I'm sorry, he needs to go bicycling. Me confunde, me confunde. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll go slower. Bye. He needs to go bicycling. Era broma, sí, ya lo entendí. Mm. Lo siento. No, no lo siento. No vale. comments. I'm gone. Okay. No, lo what? siento, okay. no lo siento. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what, Mauricio? She is trying to get on our nerves. Ella está tratando de sacarle los nervios, algo así, sacarlo de su, no sé qué. Yes, no sé. like that, almost like that. <ríe> For Arvin is very quiet. Arvin dice, mejor no hablo. Sí, no va a ser okay. pasado. Ahí está salvo, ahí está salvo. Ya me hizo pasado a mí, Be el careful. que sigue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and me too. Estaba formulando las mías. Me too. You are better like that, man. She's dangerous tonight. Por lo menos ya nos reímos. Yeah. Okay, guys, two minutes. Hurry up. Okay, okay. okay. And hello, guys. 
Hello, hello, hello teacher. How you doing? You finish? Mm. Yes. What about Three. Sandra? Sandra, you gave your sentences? No, I didn't know, teacher. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What about you, Elizabeth? Okay, only three teachers. Just a minute. No, two. I only two. I finished. Yes, two. <coughs> I still have to finish. Tomorrow she's going to go to Huayua with her friends. Oh. En el chat de chicos. La primera no cuenta. Sandra es tan buena que ya se la da como la van a decir ustedes. Oh my God. Ahí se la doy yo también. También that's, Walter teacher. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent. Ya me, pusieron, ya me pusieron en aprietos a Elizabeth. No, Tiche, le vamos a ayudar. Ok, cool, yeah. cool. Two minutes, yeah, two minutes. No, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth. You finished, guys? Yes. Okay, in one minute we go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. Only one. No, Only two. One. Two per person, dos por persona. Ah, okay. Two. Yes. Oh. Okay. Hurry up. Calle. Ahí es. Ajá. No, sorry, teacher. Yes, sorry. <laughs> ah, Nietzsche, Belín. Ajá. I got you. <laughs> We're talking about the internet crash down in this song. Man. Internet has been bad, 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 bad all day long. Todo el día. Well, but, but the joke was that I told you, teach my internet crash down, it, it that crash down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but all day long, the internet connection has been bad. Ah, okay. Estado malísima. Well, here where I live, acá donde yo vivo, it's been terrible. Chula Crisa. No, I am in San Martin. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. I go, the, la I, the last time you, you were in Ciudad Carisa, right? Yes. The last month you? Yeah, <laughs> some classes, algunas clases. Okay. I was I was at my sister's. Estaba en casa de mi hermana. Okay. And what about the terrible traffic jam today? For... Well, I went downtown in the morning, yo fui al centro around 9 a.m. No, around 8.30. And I came back before 12. Y regresé yeah. de las 12. So, no traffic at all. Nada de tráfico. It took oh. me, it took me uh, 40 minutes. Me llevó 40 minutos from San Martín to Masterrer. Oops. Good time. Yeah, good time. Douglas Toretto. No, no, no. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was yesterday. Easy traffic. Uh, really? Yeah, for me today was easy traffic. And and I couldn't ride, I couldn't run. No podía correr. I was taking my in law. Llevaba. That's so sweet. Uh. So, I mean, I had to be like calm, relaxed. <laughs> Like a carroza fúnebre, what do you say, carroza yeah. fúnebre? <laughs> I mean, I was like 90 at 90. Okay. 90 in the highway is easy. <laughs> I mean, I run more tomorrow. I go teach a class at La Gloria. Mañana voy a dar una clase a La Gloria. In the motorcycle. And usually I'm going like at 100. Y normalmente voy a 100. Be careful, teacher. Okay. Well, guys, just give me a second. I need to do something. Dangerous motorcycle. Sí, corre la moto, dice así en puya. Fast. Sí, la verdad. Walter, do you drive? Mm -hmm. Ya no Ella pagará recibos en la caja de crédito de lo oculta mañana, sábado, domingo. Sábado. Sábado afternoon. Oh, uh -huh. Morning. 
mañana, mañana, morning. Por eso te dice HGM. Sería chip Peter Sipe. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, the boss asking me for a report. They were checking the attendance. Me estaban revisando la asistencia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So let's see. Who is going to start? Okay, Vladimir, you start. Tell me about your classmate. Choose one okay. of your classmates. Um, Evelyn. Okay, tell me about Evelyn. Well, Evelyn has to attend. Has to attend online classes on Saturdays in the morning. Okay. And she has to do the laundry on Saturday in the afternoon. Okay, you were missing the where. Me le faltó el donde. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, where? In, in the first online classes in his house, in, in her house. Okay. What's up then, teacher? Perfect, thank you. Okay. Evelyn, hello Evelyn, where are you? Evelyn is going to tell me about Mr. Arana activities. Okay. For sure, uh, he needs to go to bring his father-in-law on Saturday at 6 a.m. at airport. Oh, to the airport. Yes. Okay, excellent. He has to take, uh, he has to go into uh, the beach on Sunday all day. Okay, he's going to the beach. He's he's going. He's going to the beach. To the beach? On Sunday. On Sunday. Perfect. Thank you very much. Walter, tell me about Vladimir, please. Vladimir, he has to take your wife oh my wife mm. your wife to work his, right. his wife his <laughs> wife on, teacher sorry <laughs> walter his wife his wife to work play okay perfect uh, he has to be class on saturday afternoon to take class to take classes actually to take classes Class. Okay, today. Perfect. Sorry. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Edwin, I need you to tell me about Luis. Hey, teacher. He has to do 
front office on Saturday, checking okay. in at 8 a.m. Perfect. He needs to visit his mother on Sunday in Zacatecoluca at 11 a.m. Perfect. Thank you very much. Luis, yes. tell me about Elwin. He has to work on Saturday okay. at TLT Ateos. Okay, checking perfect. in at 5 p.m. Excellent. And it's, it's, this is a longer. He has to eat on Sunday with his friends at 1 p.m. and later go to play in Painball Navarra in San Salvador Department. Okay, perfect. Excellent sentence. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Next, Elizabeth. Tell me about Sandra or Walter. Choose one. Escojame uno. Walter, too. Okay, tell me about Walter. He will visit your brother in the afternoon. In My the brother? My brother? His brother. His brother. The second one? He will, um, he, he will visit his brother in the afternoon in Armenia. Okay. He will shopping with mother in Lourdes at night. Okay, excellent, very well. Walter, tell me please about um, Sandra. Sandra, yes. tomorrow she's going to go to Huayua with her friends. Cool. Yeah. Next, the second. Sandra has a, a family a family meeting on Sunday. Okay. She has to attend a family meeting. She has to attend a family meeting. Okay, she attend. Okay, excellent, thank you. Sandra, tell me about Elizabeth, please. She will visit her grandmother in the morning in San Juan Nonualco. Okay. She, she will pay bill on Saturday morning. Okay, excellent, she will pay bill. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Next. Uh, Alfonso, tell me about either Ivania or Susana. Susana, teacher. Okay, tell me about Susana. Ivania no estaba con nosotros. Yes, she was. I see, I can hear. <laughs> okay, but she was there. Okay, tell me about Susana. Okay, she needs to go to go crush on Sunday at 7 a.m. The shores El Rosario in San Salvador. Okay. She has, uh, number two, mm -hmm. she has to dinner while her sister on Sunday night at her house. Okay, perfect. Susana, tell me about Alfonso. Sorry, Ivania, I can't see you. <laughs> okay. I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't see you. Okay. Okay, tell me about Alfonso, Susana. Okay, Alfonso goes to the park on Sunday at 4 p.m. in his locality. Okay. Alfonso perfect. will to eat pupusas on Sunday at 6 p.m. at the New Cuscatlan Park. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's see. Ivania, tell me something that you have to do on Sunday. Hi, teacher. Excuse me. Hi. Repeat, please. No, no. Tell me something. Yeah, tell me something you have to do on Sunday. ¿Qué hago yo domingo? Algo que tenga que hacer. Something oh. you have to do. Um, in the morning, uh, homework uh, with my daughter. Okay, um, I have to do homework with my daughter. Okay, I have to do homework with my daughter. 
Uh, I have to do clean house. I have to clean the house. The house um, and I have visit um, my mom. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, after. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's see. Arvin, tell me about Mauricio or Sonia's activities, please. Mauricio, teacher. Okay. Okay. Mauricio have to go to the visit clients on Saturday in the in no and Ilo, de Ilopango. Okay. He has to go visit. He has to go visit. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, the second one. Okay. Uh, he needs to go to bicycling on Saturday in the park. Oh, yeah. He needs to go bicycling. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mauricio, tell me about Sonia's activities, please. Sonia, uh, have to paint on the Saturday in she have to paint on Saturday in the afternoon in your in your brother's house. In my brother? No, in her brother's house. At her brother's house. At her brother's house. Uh, the second activity she have go to the supermarket to Saturday in the morning at Despensa de Don Juan. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, Sonia, tell me about Arvin's, please. Okay, Arvin, he has to go to work at Don Pollo on Saturday in the morning at Santa Ana City. Excellent, next. To go to the park to exercise on Saturday in the morning at Salchuapas Park. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. At Salchuapas Park. Yes. Well, let me continue. Let's see, guys. Now we are, I need to ask you something. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Vladimir, tell me, do you mark stuff in your calendar? Do you use a calendar or a, or an agenda? Um, both of them. And my, in the computer of, my, of the office, I use the agenda. But in my house, I use calendar. OK. Uh, that's excellent. Why, teacher? No, because just. Just yes, yes, asking. It's because okay. of the next activity. Relax. Okay. 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 Now, what, what about you, Susana? Tell me, do you use an agenda? I, I'm sorry. I can hear you because here is the child. If I use a agenda. Yes. Yes, I, I use that. Okay, now I need you to tell me what type of events do you mark in your agenda? I Marco, como digo con Marco? I, I mark. Okay, I mark meetings, uh, meetings of work and meetings the school. I mark uh, birthdays. Okay. I mark um, gastos importantes, ¿cómo se dice? Expenses. Expenses. Gastos, gastos, expenses. Okay. I mark expenses and mark a date, uh, visit the doctor. Okay, the doctor's appointments. Okay, the doctor's appointments. The doctor's, the doctor's appointments okay. uh, doctor's appointment
Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Sonia, what about you? Do you use an agenda? I don't use agenda. Okay, then how do you keep track of your activities? Um, I do the list. Yes. Um, what type of list? What kind? ¿Qué tipo de lista? En un cuaderno. <laughs> okay. Voy on a notebook. Yeah, on a notebook. Okay, yeah. Well, some yeah. people work like that. Some people work with agenda. Excellent. Thank you. That question is because the next activity, if you check on your manual, on page number 28, we have those questions. Okay. Why? Because we are going to talk about ordinal numbers. And we are going to organize the activities by date of event. Y vamos a organizar las actividades por la fecha del evento. That's what it says. That's what we are going to work with. Now, the ordinal numbers are very simple. I remember that, that last module, I was telling you a little bit about that. Recuerdo que el módulo pasado les mencioné un poquito de eso a los que estuvieron conmigo. Do you remember? First, second, third. When we were talking about the dates, cuando hablamos de las fechas, Remember that I told you that we use uh, in English when we talk about dates, we sometimes use the ordinal. Cuando hablamos de las fechas, usamos los ordinales. Like we say uh, in Spanish, we say el 5 de mayo, but in English, we say my, May the 5th, el quinto, right? Like I told you that I was born in December the 17th. I was born in December the 17th. Okay, let's see, Sonia, when were you born? 15th. I was born in? I was born in uh, February 15th or 15th February. Okay. You can say on February 15th if you want. On, on February 15th. Okay, perfect. What about you, Ivania? When were you born? I was born. Um, what? Mi fecha de cumpleaños. Yes. Um, November 7th. November 7th. Excellent. Remember, listen up, guys. She said 7. 7. Okay. Look in the chat. 7. Like that. Okay, just let me send something. Perfect. Gosh, these people don't let me be in peace. Now let's continue. Let me check, let me check, let me check. I need you. We are going to do a conversation right now. Gosh, it's hot today. I am sweating as a pig. Okie dokie, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we have a conversation here. We are going to do the conversation. Look, the conversation is very short. And it says, Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, I repeat. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. Susan, what about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, guys. 
By the way, I just sent you the pronunciation of the conversation, okay? This is very short. Two minutes is enough for you to practice it, okay? Two minutes is going to be enough. You are going to be working in pairs, so please jump in. Sandra, can you get in the group? Go check. Hello. Hello, teacher. We're waiting for Sandra. Okay. But I think she's not coming, so I'm going to move you. No? Creo que ella no viene todavía, así que lo voy a mover. Okay, teacher. I start. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. You start. Okay. Adele. Um, is Adele? Adele. Adele. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Agenda. Agenda. Okay. On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Okay, Adele, please check my, ag my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Hello guys, let's see, let's see. Oops, I think Sandra's got lost. Creo que a Sandra la perdimos en el limbo of the connection. Es que literally está fallando, teacher. Sorry, my Spanish. Yeah, el problema es que ella trató de conectarse y ahorita está en el proceso de conectarse a donde ya no estamos. So it's kind of weird for her. Está rarito para ella. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. There it is. Okay, who's going to start? Mauricio and Vladimir, you start. Please, Mauricio, you start, please, please. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Adele, please check my agenda. When is meeting with the consul? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next one is going to be Alfonso and Sonia. I'm a star? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, Friday the 26th. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you very much. 
Edwin and Elizabeth. Edwin, you start. Okay, teacher. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Friday. 20? Friday. Fr Friday. Friday. Okay, thank Thanks, you very Lizzie. much. Thank you very much. Now, Arvin and Susana. Arvin, you start. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, it's on Friday the 26th. Okay, excellent. Now, next, Evelyn and Luis Armando. Luis, you start. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Thank you. Consultant, consultant. Consultant. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Ivania and Walter Arana. Walter, you start. Okay, teacher. Uh, no, please check my agenda. When is the meeting? Why the council? On Monday, November twenty-two second. What about the conference by the Mexican representative? It is on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Okay, with, with, with. Now, Walter Ruiz and Sandra. Walter, you start, please. Okay, teacher. Adele, please. Check my uh, my agenda when is the meeting with the consultant. On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, perfect guys. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see. I need to show you something, little something. Necesito mostrarles algo. Right here and right here. Okay, now listen. We have the months of the year. The months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I will repeat one more time. And I'm going to record it at the same time for you. They go like this. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, guys. Now, we have the day. But before getting into the day, let's go to the ordinal numbers. Let's check the ordinal numbers. Okay, the ordinal numbers we have. 
we have one, right? We have two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's start with this one. Now, the equivalent in the ordinals, they are, look at the numbers, please. First, second, third, fourth, Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Ninth, tenth. Now, as you can see, after after the third, all of them are the almost the same idea with the th. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Ninth, tenth. The rest, remember, we got uh, 11, we got 12, 13, 14, 15. Eighteenth, oops, fifteen, sixteen. I'm sorry, my bad. Fifteen, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, and we got. This number, look, this is the 20th, 20th. Now, uh, I'm sorry, I did 11, 12, like this. Now, if you notice all of them end in TH, okay? But I need you to notice something here, the 20th. From then on, it changed a little bit. Just the decimals are going to be like this. What do I mean? Look at this number. This is 20, normal, first. Look at this one. This is 20 or 20 second. In the case of this one, it's 20 third. But the rest of them, th. What would it be this one? What's the Simple, no? 20, 
forward. Okay, just the, the one that we express as the ordinal in this case is this, right? If you notice, just this. Si se fijan, solo esto. First, second, third, fourth. Now, the pronunciation. I will the same. I will record it for you. Okay? And it goes like this. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. Okay. So, as you can see, it's very, very, very simple. Now, those numbers, we use them when we are referring about dates. Esos números los usamos cuando decimos fechas. Okay? Usually, we don't use it in other stuff. Normalmente, no lo usamos para otras cosas. I mean, perhaps when we talk about positions. Tal vez cuando hablamos de posiciones, like the first, the second, the third, the fourth. Okay? Cuando hablábamos de posiciones o levels. Cuando hablamos de posiciones o de niveles, like in a school, the first, second, third. In the courses here in El Salvador, we call them like that, right? En los eh, grados, acá en El Salvador, así lo decimos. Any question about this? Preguntas? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Puedo en español? Yes, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Ok. Eh, bueno, pero esta eh, regla o esta excepción es solo para cuando lo escribimos, porque básicamente solo los tres primeros números cambian en la pronunciación. First, second, third. No. Yes. The pronunciation, if you notice, it ends with a TH. Si se fija, lleva una TH. Uh, yes. Here, due to the level of uh, the mean of communication we are using, acá debido al medio de comunicación que estamos utilizando, quizás no se escucha mucho, pero lleva como un, ¿cómo diríamos? We blow air. Expulsamos aire. Lo que pasa es que la TH tiene dos sonidos. Un sonido es como una letra D uh -huh. y el otro sonido es como una Z. Z. ¿Ok? Ok. Como cuando usted dice corazón. ¿Cómo hacemos ese sonido? Si usted lo reproduce en este momento y dice corazón es la lengua entre los dientes soplando aire hacia afuera y la lengua hacia atrás. Ok. Uh -huh. Fourth. Fifth. Six, seven, ah. okay, eight. Okay. Like hey, thank you. Thank when you. I when I'm saying a date, cuando digo una fecha, like I was born in December the 17th. Okay. 17th. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Tengo dudas. Um... 22nd. 22nd. La escritura. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia? Let's see. 22nd. Like this. 22nd. Uh -huh. Quizás tuve algún typo en el. cuando estaban <laughs> compartiendo. Sí, por eso preguntaba. Oh, okay. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Perhaps it was a typo. Let me check. Veamos si todavía está ahí a la mano. Okay, let's see. Teacher. Yes, mister. And that oh, second yeah. attendance? It was a typo. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I will. It was a typo. Un error de escritura. Okay. Perfect. The second attendance. Yes, you are right. I'm sorry, but I'm going to take it as the last one. La voy a tomar al final. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. By the okay, way, okay. by the way, by the way, by the way, before I forget, antes que se me escape, who's my person designated for today? ¿Quién es mi designado este día? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see. For today, the person assigned to be 10 minutes more with me, it's going to be Evelyn. Aha, uh -huh, Evelyn, don't run away at the end of the class. No me voy a correr. Please don't leave me alone. No me dejes solo. Why? It's just going to be 10 minutes. Solo será 10 minutos. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> okay, guys, I need you to think about a month, any month in the year. Necesito que piensen en cualquier mes del año. One month that you know that you have different activities. Now, I need you to... December. Okay, October. December. Perfect. Vladimir chose, he chose uh, December. Okay, Vladimir, you will yes. tell me, you will tell me three activities that you do in December with the date. Con la fecha. Okay. On um, 7th, December, on December 7th? Yes. I said I celebrate my daughter's birthday. Perfect. Um December 21st. Yes. I celebrate my son's birthday. My son's. My son's birthday. And on December 24th. Yes. I celebrate. Uh, good night. Not you well, this say. Christmas? Christmas. Christmas, yes, Christmas. I celebrate Christmas with my family. Oh, no, 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 no. The 24th. That's yes, 24th is Noche Buena. Yeah, that's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, okay. Christmas On December 24th, Eve. I celebrate Christmas Eve with my family. Okay, perfect. Realmente es la víspera de Navidad. Christmas okay. Eve. Excellent. Latin people say it's Noche Buena. Yeah. Yeah, but in English we say Christmas Eve. Now let's see a month that is important for you, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Tell me any month that is important for you. Uh, yeah. Oh, that two, you have two days. Two days. Two dates. So yeah. This month. Este mes. Este mes. This month. Which month? ¿Cuál mes? Which month? Mm. January and May. January and May. January. Okay. Tell January me. January 26. Yes. And May 23rd. Okay. Tell me, what do you have for January to the 26th? My daughter, my daughter, birthday. My daughter's birthday. My daughter's birthday. Okay, what do you have for me? My daughter's birthday. Another my daughter? Yeah, my second oh. daughter. Oh, so you got two girls. Yeah. I am so sorry for you, man. That's... Oh. <laughs> No, 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 I'm no, just no. kidding. I just remember an old saying, recuerdo un dicho, that uh, daughters are the oh. punishment for us being men. Que las hijas son el castigo que tenemos por haber nacido hombres. No, no, no. So, no, but you know, you just need to practice more paintball. Solo preocupes de practicar more paintball, okay? Good. <laughs> you need to practice your aim. Practique puntería. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you need to practice your aim. Well, I do not have that problem. I have a son. No. 
Okay, thank you, Edwin. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see. Mauricio, my friend, where are you? Hi, teacher. Tell me, Mauricio, tell me two important dates for you in the year. Two. Um, November... Ah, se me olvidó como se dice 19. <laughs> 19. 19. Okay, what do you have for November 19? It is the birthday the my son. It's my son's birthday. It's my son's birthday. Okay, excellent. Another one? Um March 13. Okay. What? 30. 30th. 30th. 13. 30. 30th. 30th. It's my birthday. Oh, really? Yes. What month you say? ¿Qué mes me dijo? March. Oh, this March. month. Yes. Oh, cool. So, there's going to be celebration, guys. Everybody, listen up. So, okay. There's going to be a celebration. We're going to throw a party. Viejo lo vamos a hacer. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you got to be there waiting for us. Nos espera, oye. Okay. <laughs> hey, los esperaría. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Let's see, let's see. Next is going to be... Luis, where Luis? Luis, hello, Luis. Hi, teacher. Tell me, me. Yes. Me. Tell me, please, two important dates for you. Well, uh, 15 uh, July 15. July and, 15. And July 14. Oh, because because 15 is is uh, the birthday of my wife. Okay. And 14 is birthday to me. Oh, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, your birthdays are in the same month? Yeah. Cool. That's nice. One celebration. Yeah, oh. one celebration. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. You should have, I mean, you should have taken advantage of that and get married the same month. Hubiera tomado, si hubiera aprovechado de casarse el mismo mes, so... Everything on one just <laughs> easy to yeah. remember. Más fácil de recordar. Thank you, yes. Luis. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And where is Arvin? Arvin, tell me, please, two important dates for you in the year. Okay, teacher. Um, number one is uh, July third. Okay, July the third. Uh, it's my birthday. Oh, really? Cool. Yes. Um, September. ¿Cómo se dice? 30. Uh, sí, en... 30th. 30. Is um, a happy my esposa? My wife's birthday. My wife's birthday. Oh, that's cool. Excellent. Yes. Thank you very much, Arvin. Okay. Sandra, what about you, my dear? Tell me two important dates for you. Sandra. Hi, teacher. Hi. And the month of Jam cele celebro, I celebrate. I celebrate. I celebrate Father's Day and my birthday on the same day. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Your father was a lucky guy. Que hombre más afortunado. He became a father on Father's Day. Él se volvió padre el día del padre. Exacto. That's cool. That's actually cool. Excellent. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, teacher. Sonia, what about you? Tell me two important dates for you. And not your kids, que no sean de sus hijos. Two others. 
Um, mm. The birthday is my month. My mom's birthday? My mom's birthday on February 8th. Okay, another one? On um, my father's birthday uh, on January 5th. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. What about you, Daisy? Hello, tell me two important dates for you. Mm, important. Huh? I'm sorry? Mm. For what month? Okay, tell me the months. What is on? Um, March, mm, my birthday. Okay. Okay, when in, when in March? El yes. cuento de marzo. Um, March 7th. Oh, it in, just passed by. It just passed. Acaba de ser. In March 25. Okay, okay, okay. El suyo es cuando? 7th. The 7th. And the 25th? Uh, the, my husband. Oh, your husband's birthday. Cool. Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much, Daisy. Okay, guys. So, if you see the way we apply them, it's very easy. It's pretty simple. Now, something else that I needed to, to check with you, as I told you at the beginning, we were going to make a small review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. But before that, I need to remind you something. Necesito recordarles algo. Midterm exam in the platform. What happened, Vladimir? You scare me. Sorry, sorry. No problem. No I just problem. finished. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, the midterm exam in the platform, guys, remember, mandatory today. Tomorrow at noon, mañana al mediodía, I will be getting the dates, the grades into the system. Me los piden a mí para mañana al mediodía. Tops. So, uh, please, we, you have to finish the section two and the midterm exam. Okay? Now, for next week, if you have noticed in the platform, si se han dado cuenta en la plataforma, I haven't posted nothing in the forum. En los foros que están después de cada sección, no les he puesto nada. Ok. But starting next week, we are going to start since section one. A partir de la próxima semana, vamos, le voy a ir asignando actividades de la sección uno. Let me explain to you why I haven't. Déjenme explicarles por qué todavía no lo habíamos hecho. I needed to have the conversation that I had at the beginning with you. Necesitaba tener la conversación que tuve al inicio con ustedes. I needed to see how is your command because I want you to structure the questions are going to be a little bit more interesting. Las preguntas que le voy a poner ahí van a ser un poquito más complejas. And I needed you to have a better command of all the topics we have covered. And the better command you show it to me when you talk to me. Y ese mejor dominio de los temas me lo demuestran cuando hablan conmigo. That's why I have waited up to now to start. Es por ello que, que he esperado hasta este momento para comenzar. But from now on, we are, going, we are going to cover those and from every class a partir del lunes. So, it's going to be fun. Don't worry. Now, let's see. This week we were working with adverse of frequency. What else were we working with? ¿Qué otro tema tocamos? Do you remember? Hello. Hello. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Albers of frequency. What else? Have to, need to. Have to, need to. Expression, the urgency. Okay, the expression of urgency. 
Like when, okay, when we say the homework that you sent me today, la tarea que me enviaron ahora, it's really important. Okay. I really need you to. It's very important. Okay. What else? Se nos olvida uno. Hello. Two, two. Commands. You remember the commands? Recordamos los commands. Commands are the ones we use to give instructions, right? And as I told you, commands are the ones that when we are expressing them, they start without a subject. Why? Because the subject all the time is you. El sujeto siempre es you. Okay? Now, the only other situation in English where you will face that la única otra situación en la que se van a encontrar con eso is when we use the expression let's oops, I'm sorry, let's what happened here? oh my this expression, let's like, let's go let's practice I use a lot, let's Let's jump in. Yo les digo, let's jump in when I open the rooms, right? Let's, les digo, let's jump in. Now, that expression means let us, let us. Now, let is actually, if you get it like that, si lo buscamos así textualmente, es permitir. Us is us, the group. Us sería el grupo. Sería como permitámonos but we don't use it like that no se usa así it's used when we want to uh, pose an invitation like hey guys let's jump in that's an invitation let's go vámonos let's start comencemos that ending comencemos eh, vámonos that ending is let's, okay? So, let's start working. Comencemos a trabajar, okay? Let's, uh, please guys, let's take the attendance before we finish. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera, please, say present. Present, teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present, teacher. Berta Maritza Molina, absent. Claudio Guadalupe, absent. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Veras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Iset García Rodríguez. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge, absent. Roxana Claribel Trejo, absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Remember, tomorrow I'll be checking that. Please work in the platform. Have a good weekend and see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Be sure. Cool. Yes, Mister. Uh, tomorrow, uh, write and and in WhatsApp. Okay, perfect. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I will be checking out. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good night. Good night. Miss Evelyn, hello. How are you? Activate your microphone, Evelyn. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. Very fine. What uh, about you? I'm just great. Tell me, Evelyn, is there any topic and special that you would like me to help you with? Algún tema que le gustaría que le ayudara or something specific that you need help? I I listen uh, over comments in this class. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, commands, commands. Mm -hmm. Commands are very simple, okay? Commands are expressions that we use to give instructions. Son expresiones oh. que utilizamos para dar instrucciones. Okay, but those expressions are very different to the rest of the topics we have seen. Esas expresiones, y le digo expresiones, because not sentences, no oraciones, because in a regular sentence, I have always been telling you, siempre les he estado diciendo, you need to have a subject, right? Siempre yes. tenemos que tener un sujeto. But in commands, it varies. Con los commands, eso cambia. Why? Because we don't say a specific subject. No decimos un sujeto específico. ¿Por qué? Let's get an example for you. Uh, have you ever followed a receipt? ¿Alguna vez has seguido una receta? ¿Receta? Yep. Ah. Oh. Like for cooking, para cocinar. Okay. Uh, or if you see, like in the, if you are preparing um, hot cakes, si está preparando hot cakes, and you get the box, este mira la caja, there are the instructions, right? Yes. Las instrucciones. And it says add, it is a agregue, pour, vacíe, mix, mezcle, y luego el que, verdad? Lo que va a mezclar, lo que va a vaciar, lo que va a agregar, right? Ok. Ok. Todas esas expresiones no tienen sujeto. They start This right. Comes. Exactly. Comienzan directamente con el verbo. Son commands. Oh. Imagínense que le llama a su jefe y le dice, Evelyn, eh, you have to, tiene que present the report. And call the clients, then attend a meeting. No le está diciendo el sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero usted obviamente entendió que el sujeto es you. Sí. Vamos a un, vamos a una, a una oficina, algún lugar de un banco de esas, las oficinas grandes de los bancos que tienen jardincitos. There's always a, a sign, casi siempre hay un un aviso que dice don't, estas cuando son negativos, dicen don't step on the grass. Dice que no se pare en la grama. Ve la oración que le acabo de mandar. Don't step on the grass. That sentence no tiene sujeto, ¿verdad? Inició directamente con el auxiliar. Y yo les he dicho que inician con auxiliar solamente cuando es pregunta, ¿verdad? Exactamente. La excepción a todas esas reglas son los commands, ¿ok? Si un command está en negativo, normalmente es un warning, es una advertencia, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Cuando están en negativo, si usted se fija, son una advertencia. Como por ejemplo está el gran tambo de gas, ¿verdad? Y dice, don't smoke, ¿right? Dice, no fumar. Y usted lo ve... Lo lee, and even if it's in English, you know that the subject is you. Están hablando con usted, ¿verdad? Con usted uh -huh. y con cualquiera que lo lea. Entonces el sujeto siempre es tú o usted. Right? Those yes. are commands. Right. When you give instructions, eh, si usted tiene un subordinado y usted necesita que haga una serie de cosas, usted lo que hace es este dar, quizás se los da por escrito, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué es lo que hace? No le pone el tú, sino que le pone las actividades directamente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Qué va a hacer? Ok, los eh, de to do for tomorrow, las cosas por hacer mañana. Ok, eh, check emails, right Si se fijó en algunos de los que los compañeros pusieron, no sé si los pusieron en el grupo, decía, check emails, eh, reply Messages, attend meetings, ¿ok? 
cuando usted le da instrucciones a otra persona, o imagine that you are going on vacation, usted va a dar uh -huh. instrucciones. And there's somebody who's going to cover for you. Y alguien va a cubrir por usted. You make a list of all the activities that that person has to cover. Usted hace una lista de todas las actividades que esa persona debe realizar. And you don't write you, you, you. No le pone usted o tú o vos. No, you just write the action. Comenzamos con la acción. And what's the action? A verb. Y la acción no se representa con un verbo. Exacto. Exacto. Ok, so those are called commands. A eso se le llama commands. Now, of course, when we are speaking to people, cuando hablamos con las personas, I mean, we are not usually to, to cut. No somos tan cortantes, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hacemos? Oh, if we are speaking, we are a please. Le agregamos un please. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like, Evelyn, uh, tell me, uh, imagine that we are in an inter interview. Estamos en una entrevista. Yo le digo, Evelyn, uh, tell me your, your last name, please. Tell me your last name, please. It's um, Molina. Okay, thank you. Date of birth. Ahí es. cuando le digo date of birth, si se fijó, ya le quité el sujeto. Y ya le quité hasta el tell me. Solo me fui directo. Pero ¿qué hacemos para que no suene tan cortante? We are a please. Or excuse me. Open the door. Okay. Excuse me. Imagine that you are in a meeting and it's very hot. Están en una reunión y demasiada gente. It's very hot. You tell one of the persons, one of the of the attendees, una de las personas que han asistido, usted les dice, eh, please, eh, turn down the air conditioner. Bájale al aire, it's too hot, right? Yeah. Okay, those are commands. Esos son los commands. Are you clear now? Yes. Remember, you never write the, 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 the subject. The subject all the time is you. Normalmente el sujeto siempre es tú o usted. Ok. O or um, in your house o aún en su casa. Wives are very good at commands. Las esposas son buenísimas para los commands. You tell your husband, hey, <laughs> go to the supermarket. Buy cheese, buy milk. Don't forget the bread. No olvides el pan. You are not using the subject, right? No le está poniendo sujeto. You are just giving the instructions. And as, as you are in a, in a known environment, y como está en un ambiente que usted controla, you don't use the please. Yes. No, no sentimos la necesidad de usar el please. Sometimes we do, even with our spouses. Algunas veces lo hacemos con nuestro eh, con género, ¿no? But it's not necessary. No siempre es necesario. Sometimes you just say, hey, go to the supermarket. Don't forget the bread. Don't buy those things. I don't like them. No compre de aquello que no me gusta. You see? <laughs> And you're giving commands. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Those are the commands. Are we clear now? Ahora sí. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. I don't know if there's anything else. No sé si hay algo más en lo que le pueda ayudar. Well, in this moment, this. Ok, perfect. I think, I think, creo que la próxima semana voy a tener un par de días que voy a tener 10 minutos libres por algunos compañeros que nos están conectando. If you need extra help with something, let me know. Si necesita ayuda extra con algo, me avisa. And I can program a space for you. Y le programo un espacio. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. No, thanks okay. to you, Evelyn. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you. Have a good night. Rest. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. Yes. Bye. Yes, thank you. Bye. Okie dokie. Let's see. I think that was today's class. It was very interesting and we covered a lot of information today, my guy. We were practicing, even my throat is hurting a little bit. But overall, it was a very good class. And 
we are going to finish this activity right now. So for all those of you who are seeing, watching the class, see you next week. Bye-bye.